Hello everyone, it's Red with RedDragonLeo.com. It is October 1st, 2012. What we're looking at here is the SBX chart, uh, the five-year daily chart. And um, one of the things I wanted to point out here uh, was that we appear to be going up in a uh, channel of some type or you could actually call this a wedge I guess is it but it would take a while to narrow uh, and on a daily basis we are actually hitting this exactly this line right here and as you can see uh, this right here on the back D's are still overbought and uh, but curling back up the histogram bars are actually moving back up and that's you know obviously this big move up today I don't think you should uh, you know jump on board the long train because there's a likelihood that this could chop around in this 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 move right here and actually turn and go right back down uh, tomorrow maybe hit this uh, this line here as support and keep chopping in it until it finally pops out now, it is possible to pop out tomorrow I don't know uh, but um, you know, if we look at the 60-minute chart to try to try to get a better idea of how it's looking. Uh, we can see it's exactly the same scenario there. It's went up and hit that line, and and um, and it, it could either pierce on through it, you know, because this is type of a wedge, okay, a wedge within a big long channel here, uh, or it could just roll back down. You can see right here that there is room for it to go back up on the. 60 minute chart but generally speaking you don't see a big move too far above the zero or 2.5 when you've already started your downward descent from the daily so in other words what I'm trying to say is you see how we got up this high right here this point or 7.5 and in, uh, in five in that in that range there and in this range here we had these big moves up here like that when you compare, when you look at that on the daily chart and, and see where that was, you'll see that that was in this time zone or this this area right in here when this was getting ready to make a big ramp uh, move higher. Here we have already made a descent down, so it to me it doesn't look like this next move up is going to be that. Um, powerful today. I think that what I'm trying to say is I think that they could drop this down a little bit more before it curls back up. Maybe get a little closer. See how see how long it took this to, to work its way down. I think this might have a little bit further to go on the downside before it pops up. So this week could be a little choppy. You've got that uh, Spain uh, being downgraded most likely by Moody's out there. That little bit of fear in the market there. So that could be a reason to just chop this right back down. In other words, go up here a little bit, roll it back over, and pop it down. Um, now, that's no guarantee. I mean, like I said, you know, this is not something I w would even touch trying to trade because it's just, uh, again, this uh, only the bullish moves tend to work. So the other scenario is that if it does, if it does go up here, and then this. You'll see a bunch of uh, sideways trading right here, banging on this line, putting in a bull flag. Well, they can very well um, keep doing that until this recite, resets back down and curls back up. So, you know, that's a possibility, too, that they could do that uh, and then pop it out. Um, you know, so that's a possibility. But my thoughts are that they're going to just chop in this range, and at some point, maybe later this week, they're going to pop it out. Look at it on the two hour chart, and you can see in the two hour chart it's got a lot of room here to go. But again, I don't think it's going to be this high. This is, it should be lower to put in a negative divergence. Should be lower. And if we do a four hour chart, uh, I think we're going to be in the same uh, situation. See the four hour chart? It is resetting and, and curling back up. So everything says for a bullish move right now. I just don't know for sure if they're ready for it or not. They might chop it around a little sideways, maybe come back down here. I'm not counting on that, but it may come back down here. But if they chop it sideways long enough, this is going to come up here. They're going to hit. But these usually are going to break out to the upside. And um, so the bottom line is everything right now is pointing bullish on the, on the charts. 
and so I am fully expecting uh, them to rally the market up right into Legatus, just as we have uh, all been waiting on. Now, here on the weekly chart, you can see here it is putting in a lower high right here uh, on the uh, then then the one back here back in uh, February, March, April that area. That's giving you your negative divergence. It's very common to see a higher high and and uh, on the actual levels and then a lower high on the actual MACDs. So, but you can see it's losing steam, folks. We don't got but a few more weeks, I do believe, before this thing is going to roll over. And they're just doing everything they can to hold it up uh, until then. So, if I look at this on a 20-year chart, obviously, we can see that uh, where all, the all-time high right here is, 1579. I don't think we're going to get there. But don't be surprised if they don't keep pushing this up. You never know how high they're going to push this. Because I, I firmly believe that we're going to see a nice move down. I'm not going to say it's going to be a crash. But I do believe we're going to see a nice move down right after the goddess. Now, speaking of that, I actually seen, I wanted to go back to give you a little bit of history on, on that and let you know, I seen my first um, fake print back here in this area right here uh, in 2010. So, if you zoom in right here on this area right here, uh, I think it was, uh, it was the 11th. <laughs> and I did not know the importance of the 11 numbers back then. I did not know how important they were. But uh, this was the very first fake print I seen. And I was just discovering and finding out about Legatus at that point. Uh, it was just then basically reading Reinhardt's blog, who was the one who discovered Legatus and pinpointed it within a day. Uh, the day that the market would start crashing for the 2008. Uh, and he's on record for doing it. He's, he's the only one that's worked. I mean, I, I have to sit here and say this has been a learned experience the last three or four years. Learning technical analysis, Elliott Wave principles, and Fibonacci retracement levels, and, and, and astrology, and all this stuff. And none of it has been accurate. The only thing that has been accurate is numerology. Uh, and that's tied with cycles as well. And uh, the fake prints tell us where, where they're going. They just don't tell us when. We have no idea when they're going to get there. And, um, and the turns with Legatus. They, they've not been a turn every single time. But, and I can't really go back and check every single one of them because I don't have a record of them all. But I would just venture to say that 80% of the time that we've had a Legatus meeting, there was a significant turn in the, in the market. Uh, and, um, and so, by the way, this particular one, I'll show you the fake print. This was the first fake print I seen. Notice the date uh, right here of January, January the 11th, 2010. That was the date uh, I seen this and took a screenshot of it. And the market, as you can see, it was showing 97 points down on the, on the Dow. I'm sorry, on the S&P. And... Uh, and that was 1047. And, and, and notice the 4 and the 7 equals 11. So you got 111 there. Okay. So, and and it was on the 11th. So that's t telling me that, you know, this was a real fake print back then. And obviously, you know, the market, what, it was really trading 97 points above that uh, at 1100 and something because you can see that uh, the Dow was only, was up 45 points. Uh, which would have easily been a thousand points drop if this was a 97 point drop on the S&P. So you know that that's not accurate. Now, here's the thing that really got you on this. This fake print was on the 11th, which again was right here. And that tells you the exact, where we was right there on that day. And there it is. It's telling you up in the left hand corner there. We were at 11.45 on the open. The close was 11.46. Uh, we didn't move much that day. Went a high of 11.49 down to 11.42. Well, we had a seven-point range. Whoop dee, right? You can see that. Now, this 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 was the bottom. Now, now notice the the uh, low that day with this with this tail right here. 
it was 1,044.50. So it pierced and went past the 1047 a little bit, and that's common with these fake prints. They do go past them most of the time. And then it turned and went back up for the next several months. Now, you know what was uh, also interesting about this date right here? They had a goddess meeting on February the 4th through February the 6th, uh, 2010. Now look at the um, the date at the top left hand. It was 2 5 2010. Now, um, I haven't seen too many 11 dates being a bottom, but they seem to be a top. Now if you go back here and you add 2 plus 5, you got 7 uh, plus you know, plus basically three, you end up getting, um, you end up getting a 10. Uh, so, you know, I don't know how they're doing the bottoms to try to pick the bottoms, uh, but I have noticed lots of times, not all the time, but many, many times that they tend to be 11 dates whenever they top out for whatever reason. Uh, again, not all of them, obviously, some of these are not. Uh, like, you know, obviously that's that was the top there and it wasn't, it was a significant top and it wasn't an 11 date as um, 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 2, okay, it's 14, so that wasn't, it wasn't an 11 date. Uh, this one here, let's see, 423, 20 minutes actually, this date right here, 426, uh, that is 12, that is um, 15, okay, on that one. And on this date, it is uh, 5, 9, 10, 12. So neither one of those were 11 dates. So they're not all 11 dates on the tops, but there is some significance to this. Uh, over here, we had 11, 5, 2010. I guess it all depends upon whether or not there's an 11 date near it whenever they, when they're, when they are planning on topping the market out or bottoming the market out, I guess. It's, if there's an 11 date nearby, then I think they tend to to go for that date. If there's not one nearby, I don't think that they actually go for it. So, um, you know, that was just a, a little prior lesson. There have been, again, uh, other Legatus meetings. But don't you think that's odd that here they tell me on the 11th, they show me a print of 1047, which is an 11. 11, you know, that is 111, and it's on the 11th, and then literally right into the Legatus meeting, they bought them. Boom. There you go. So, where does that put us today? Well, uh, as you can clearly see, we have had some previous 11 dates, uh, like uh, I think uh, here, 4-2-2012, add up all those digits on that date that was an 11, okay, that was a significant high in uh, April the 2nd, 2012. And then this one here was right in the middle of the last Legatus meeting, May the 1st, 2012. Okay, we had the Legatus meeting then. Now, five plus one equals six, you know, plus 2012 equals 11. So again, it's 11. So our next 11 date is October the 23rd. And you add up all those digits and you have um, an 11. Now, again, I don't think every 11 is significant. And, you know, like I said, they don't always top them out on 11 dates. You can go back and find tons of them that are not 11 dates because they're just not that many, I guess, throughout the year. But the fact that you've got a Legatus meeting there, the fact that you've got uh, the presidential election, and the fact that, um, uh, you know, the, that Legatus meeting is 11 days, and we have an 11 date right after that, you know, this all to me signals signals a high, folks. So we need to be on the lookout for fake prints to the upside. Uh, I was told that we had a fake print of 143. I don't know the exact number. Uh, on the blog, someone emailed me that um, that we had a fake print there of. Uh, Hang on one second here.